Hello everyone, welcome back to the Techers. My name is Sarmeet and for this video, I am going to share how to install your Arduino compiler. That is basically your software that you require to program your Arduino controller and upload your program in it. So it's the Arduino IDE. I'm going to show you and you can see in the screen, basically what you need to do is you just open Google uh, search for download Arduino click on the first link for well, this Arduino.cc link no it could be a scam link so be careful about that so it should be Arduino.cc that's their official website and this is the download page uh, and you can select so mine is Windows 10 and newer mine is Windows 10 and newer 64 bits so I'm going to, so that is the one I've downloaded. And then once you download, open the installer, just next, 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 easy steps. Uh, so look at up where you want to install. Next, and you will have it installed. I can't show you because I've already installed it. Um, but yeah, after you install it, you will open it up and this is how it will look like. So it will have, so as you can see on the screen that it would have two functions already made inside it's unlike uh, what we were doing in normal c it would just have your int main function and all that stuff so it will give you the basic things already and this is much much simpler than the other uh, microcontrollers that i've worked on like 8051 and pic this is very easy and as you can see in, it says in first function void setup is put your setup code here to run once so whatever you write in this part it will only execute once so in simpler terms what does void setup mean so uh you know very simple terms if you have bought a phone or your laptop when you're setting it up you turn it on first time it asks you for hey what's your name what's your country uh set up your wi-fi password or things like that your your basic details so that is setup that happens once and after that your phone or your device just keeps on running uh, based on how it's programmed and whatever you want to do. So same thing. Uh, your setup is basically you're setting up your pins, uh, which pin are you going to use in that program? And then your main program would be in the loop. Loop is basically the part where it keeps on running. So just like in the C programming section when we are uh, doing loops, it's the same thing but this is an infinite loop this will keep on running without any condition all right so that is where it is and uh, if you want to set it up there are further steps to do is first thing is you go to tools and you go to boards you have arduino avr boards and you have to just select which boards are you going to work on so my board that i'm going to work on with you guys would be arduino mega so that is the one i will select it and after you plug it in, you'll be able to see the ports also. And you just have to so, uh, select the right port. The easiest way to select the right port is disconnect everything from your USB port or from your laptop or your computer, whichever one you're using. And then there will be only one left, which would be your Arduino. And you just select it. Then you can plug the other things back in and you will know, okay, this is my Arduino board on this selected and basically done so yeah that would all be uh there and this over here is your verify which is your compiler this compiles your program and checks for any error and once you have plugged in and everything is your arduino board is online you just do upload over here after you've written the program yeah so you can even save the name and location of your program while you're when when you click on one of these it will ask you to save the program onto a location with the name uh when it's done first time rest every time is it's going to keep the same name um so yeah that's pretty much it that would get you guys started to write your own programs in arduino all right see you next time